Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. My name is Tiana, and welcome back to another episode of From the Field to the Track. As always, I am joined by my lovely co-host and best friend, Katie. Katie, how are you today? I am pretty bloody good, Tiana. How are you? I am slaying as usual. I am so excited. I, I love this episode, and I'm so happy that we're going to film this episode because it is a good one. But Katie, what are we talking about on today's episode of From the Field to the Track? Well, as always, Tiana had a really good idea and she told it to me, she pitched it to me and I said, yes, we have to do this. And now we're here today and we're ready to share it with you guys. Today, Tiana and I are going to be drafting our dream F1 teams. This is the From the Field to the Track annual draft. Um, we are going to be drafting everything from drivers. We're going to be picking drivers from F1, F2, F3, F1 Academy. We're going to be um, uh drafting team principles we're going to be picking car colors car livery we are going to be picking the names of our dream f1 teams it is going to be so which much is fun. what we're most excited for yeah exactly and tiana is going to tell you all how it's going to work um i must just say i'm very very excited um it could get pretty competitive because um yeah tiana and I both want really good teams yeah exactly mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how's how does it how's this going to work t okay so Hear me out here. I was watching America's Got Talent and they were doing a drafting system of the new, like, I don't know. And I was like, you know what? I think that we should do this from, from the field to the track. So that's what we're doing. And so this is essentially how it works. At the beginning of every round, Katie has mentioned some of the rounds to you, but all of the rounds that we have are F1 drivers. So you need two F1 drivers and then you need a junior academy system, which is one driver from F2, one driver from F3, and one driver from F1 academy. And then on top of that, you need one team principal, one engine, one engine provider one race strategy and team strategy and one livery color as well as your name so those are the categories and at the beginning of every category i will flip a coin and whoever like say katie chooses tails and i choose heads whichever it lands on um they get to go first and so say it lands on heads and then i choose max Verstappen as my number one driver um Katie cannot lo- no longer choose Max Verstappen as her driver. And then Katie chooses a driver and I can't choose that same driver. So that's essentially how that works. Um, and yeah, so I'm very excited to get into this. And yeah, and we will also discuss our choices as we go on and give a little bit of insight as to why we chose each driver. Because I know a lot of you will be wondering, like, why did you choose those drivers? So Katie, I let you choose what what side of the coin you want to be. Do you want to be heads or do you want to be tails? I have been thinking very long and hard about this. It's probably the biggest decision I'm going to have to make in this episode. I'm picking heads. Okay, you're picking heads. Okay, so this is for the team name, whoever chooses their team name first. Okay, I'm showing you it, it, it so you don't think I'm, like, cheating. Oh, it's heads. Okay. Katie, what is your team name? Okay, so when we, like, first came on this call, a little bit of inside, Tiana asked me, Was we were just talking about who we were going to pick, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, I don't have a team name. What am I going to call it? And she's like, oh, I'll just do something simple. I was like, no, it has to be funny. So now I've put all this pressure on this one moment being funny. <laughs> I've decided to call my team Beta Tauri. <laughs> it's like Alpha Tauri, but it's Beta Tauri. You know what? Like, she was hyping. And the worst part was she was, like, hyping this name. But she was like, I don't know what I'm going to name them. And she's like, oh, I have a good idea. I'm not going to tell you, but I've got a good idea. I was like, oh, no, this can only be – because – yeah, this can only be so many things. And I'm glad that she went with that and not your other option. So I could have just called it like we could have called it like Haas without the H. Like I could have could have called it lots of different <laughs> things. I had a few like going around in my head. I was going to call it like Mick Caitlin, like McLaren. Like I was trying to do one like a current current team um, so I could really like you probably can't do that. Um, yeah, I feel like that's copyright, like copyright. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's something anyway, like Tiana, what are you going to call your team? Um, so unlike Katie, I was a bit boring, but I've decided to go down the route of a very, very famous person who owns a racing team that I didn't know until like F1, uh, F1, what was it? No, anyways, I have to cut that. W series started. Sorry. That was a really just a mind blank. I forgot what it was called. So I'm going, um, Tiana racing, it, like uh, following in the footsteps of, um, Caitlyn Jenner, uh, Jenner racing. So yeah. that's, that's my team name. So I'm excited. Is she, is she your favorite Caitlyn that you know? Um, no, I, I, um, you know, I actually, I, I don't really have a favorite Caitlyn. Um, to be fair, my middle name is Caitlyn, so I it am my is. own favorite. 
which so, is like a weird fun fact about us. Fun, fun Something fact. you might not we know share... about me is my name is actually Caitlin. Um, weird. Like I'd, n- I'd never shared that before. That's really strange. But um, yeah, my and her name is Caitlin. exactly how my middle name is spelt. It's which crazy. I've never met a person in the world that had the same like spelling. Anyways, that's uh, off topic. But <laughs> now that we've picked our names, so. Katie is beta racing. I am Tiana racing. Oh, be- beta Tauri, sorry. Beta Tauri. <laughs> I'm, already d- <laughs> I'm like already getting like P11 in the constructors. Like, what if I called it beta racing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so Katie is still heads, I am still tails. This is for whoever gets to pick their F1 driver first. Okay. Oh, Katie. Okay, you get to pick your F1 driver first. Who's your first F1 driver? This is a really tough choice. I'm kidding. It's not at all. Max Verstappen, please. Um, I need someone consistent. I need someone good. I need someone who can get in my car and just achieve results for me. I'm going to go Max Verstappen. What are you going to go to? That's a fair assessment. I like that. I like that. I like that choice. I would have chose Max Verstappen if I went first because I think he's a very safe choice to choose. Um, My number one driver, I think... Oh, this is hard, but I think if I had to choose a number one driver, it would be... Lando Norris. Actually, no, not Lando Norris Ooh. because that would that would not go against anything that I wanted. Valtteri Bottas. Because you're picking Valtteri can... Bottas as your number one driver. Yeah, I'm picking Valtteri Bottas okay. as my number one driver. So, I think that he's very consistent. He's very reliable. Obviously, we've seen what he does at Alfa, Alfa Romeo, which is now Stake Kick F1 team. I don't know, not a long name that we <laughs> fully cannot remember. And also what he did at Mercedes, which was absolutely amazing, because. Yeah, he solely led Lewis to, like, helped Lewis in so many ways during his time at Mercedes, and I think that will help the team as well. So I think that would be great for my team. Great addition to my team is Valtteri Bottas. Katie, who's your second pick? For my second pick, I'm not really looking for someone who can... I'm looking for someone who can deliver um, performance, obviously. But Max is going to be our main point scorer. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for someone to make being in the team fun. I'm looking for someone who can get on very well with Max and someone who can really do that for me is, of course, my favourite driver of all time. Inspiration for this all, Daniel Ricciardo. Mm -hmm. That's a fair assessment. That's a fair choice to make. I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Um, If I had to choose, so my second driver would have to be none other than Charles Leclerc. I feel like he has a lot of bad luck and stuff like that, but he also has good qualifying performances. And I feel like that alone can help us i feel like also he would be a great second driver for valtteri bottas and even like they balance each other out you know what i mean like valtteri and charles and then it would be a good team like teammate dynamic dynamic i don't think we have ever seen charles a valtteri like just interacts and like the f1 media kind of sense of stuff so i feel like that would provide top tier content for us all and i would be hyped and excited to see i think we've got some pretty star-studded lineups actually with katie beta towery over there getting um you know they, they they they're they're coming close in the constructors championship with Matthew Verstappen and Danny Ricciardo might I add the 2018 like the 2018 oh it's the 2018 yeah 2018 Red Bull pairing like I think and also beta towery that I think that makes sense as well for them and then obviously we have me Tiana racing with um people who have never been in the same team before but I think yeah, that they exactly. would genuinely She's be gone great left field here yeah, for real, really. Okay, so now the next category that we have, we will have to flip the... Oh, no, we will actually only have to flip... No, we'll have to flip it three times for the juniors. So we'll start with F2. Katie's heads, I am tails. We each get one. Oh, my God, oh, this I is so rigged. She gets okay. to pick two first for F2. So I'm picking F2. Okay, well, yeah. I don't know if this will... It's come also, I need to... I need to um, tell everyone that we are t- choosing F2 and F3 drivers from and F1 Academy drivers from last year's grid because this year's grid has not been confirmed. Sorry, Katie, take it away. Okay, I'm picking somebody who is going to deliver the result for my team, who's going to be lovely. I'm picking somebody who is just going to be a good time. Um, so for my first pick for the Beta Driver Academy, I'm going to be picking... Teo Porsche. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I literally only wrote down one driver because I was like, I know who Katie's going to pick. Like, genuinely, for F2 and F3, I was like, I know who Katie's going to pick. Like, I'm not going to pick them. So, well, I, like, I just write down pick, one driver. 
So um, I am going to pick my one, like my favourite F2 driver from last year, besides Clem. Um, Frederick Vesti. Frederick Vesti, my okay. consistent king. If he had his rear tyres on half the time, maybe he would have won the championship. We'll never know. But I think, you know what, um, what my team can offer Fred is his rear tyres will always be on. So <laughs> no need to worry about that. No need to stress about that. But I think Fred will be a great addition to our team. And I just think, you know what, like we're getting kind of like multi nationalities actually wait no no yeah multinationalities we've got all of europe happening in the team right now so i'm kind of thrilled we've got like yeah except for yeah so i'm excited about that um okay and now it's time to flip the coin once again if this lands on heads one more time it's rigged okay so this is for f3 oh my god it's tails okay yay okay so for my f3 driver i'm gonna pick Gabriel Bortoletto. You can't really go past the championship winner, especially when he won the championship by a lot, to be fair. Once again, we have talked about this before, Prema kind of just messed up their drivers, so didn't really give them that big of a chance. And Bortoletto, he was in a class of his own, winning so many races and all that he does, just being amazing. So yeah, I think Bortoletto is my pick. I know who Katie's going to pick because she's very pretty. I am picking the Bulgarian line himself, <laughs> Nikola Solov. Nikola Solov, you're, you're, Nikola. yeah. I I reckon that's actually like a genuinely like just. It's a. Pick. He's also gonna double as like our TikTok maker. Like he's going to make all Please of beta tar- <laughs> beta Terry's TikToks. I would rather not have someone like. Okay, anyways, besides the point. So, Beta Terry the... Talk Master. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now we'll flip the coin again to see who gets the F1 Academy pick first. So, oh, that's, that's, I didn't press the flip again button. Okay, let's check. Who's gonna, oh, it's me again. That's lovely. Yay. Um, Who do I want on my team? Um, Once again, I like winning, so I like winners. So, therefore, I'm going to pick. None other than the championship winner herself, Marta Garcia. Absolute masterclass for Marta Garcia, especially in, obviously, everyone's rookie season of F1 Academy. And I just think she's an amazing driver. And she deserves all the plurates, all the glory, everything, because she's amazing. And I would love to have her in my team. Katie, what's Beta Tauri's um, F1 Academy pig? Okay, Beta Tauri. Um, for our Driver Academy, we're finishing off. Again, I also like winners. No one said I didn't like winners. Um <laughs> I, I'm i picking Hamda al That's a good choice. Her. It's a good choice. She's cool. Um, and, yeah, we she would just look cool in the Beta Dr- Driver Academy um, uniform. I thought you were going to say in the she's, Beta Tower, like, race suits. And I was going to be like, so in your mind, you've already created the race suits. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, sh- the car. Like, I can already see her with, like, our livery that I have planned, which we're going to reveal mm-hmm. later. Um, okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. So far, these teams are actually looking pretty stuck, to be fair. Like, these are great teams so far. Yeah. I would be scared if any of these teams actually happen. I think that in we're winning. Formula 1. We're winning. Yeah. You're winning. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. At the end of the video, everyone has to comment down and say who won. Was it me <laughs> who or was actually it could win. <laughs> yeah. Like, which team genuinely would actually come higher in the Constructors' Championship. Like, yeah, we might come P9 and P10, but who's coming P9, who's coming P10? You know what I mean? Like, you just need to yeah. defer that, get that out there. So you have to comment Team Beta Tauri for Katie and then Team Tiana. Why are you keep missing up that name? You have to say it with more. It's like, we are Team Beta Tauri. <laughs> it's like it's a so We Are funny. Williams, but we are Team Beta yeah, Tauri. we are. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now for our team principal. This is a team principal who is currently on the F1 grid and heads or tails, who is going to get it? Let's see. Okay, Katie, you get to go first. Who is your... Okay. Do you know who I love as a team principal? I love James from Williams. Oh, I love James Vowles. 
I know. He's such a, do you know, I can remember exactly where I was when I found out he was like the Valtry, it's James. Like, that, <laughs> like he was that guy. Right? He I is I, James. Anyway, that's a, that's a side. Um, I need someone supportive. I need someone who believes in our team. Um, and I think he's the perfect man for it. Um, so, yeah, I, Beta Tauri has just made its new hire, James Bowles. That's that. I like that. I like that. Um, look, Good my job. my options are Christian Horner and Toto Wolf. I don't know who I. No, but like that's, those are my options. But I can't think. I was really hoping that you chose one of them, so I just have to choose the other one. But you haven't, so I think I'm leaning towards Toto Wolf only because I just love Toto Wolf so much, and I just think that he would be. And do you know who Toto comes team. with? Susie. Yeah. Exactly. So I think it's a win package. But then Christian comes with Jerry. And I also like the Spice Girls. Mm. So, you, you know, like... Like a little serenade. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's hard It's hard to please I'm everyone. I'm sure Susie days. could sing too. You could just... <laughs> she probably could. She's a woman of many yeah. talents, Susie Wolf. That girl. She she's, really is. She's my icon. So, yeah, those are our team principles. I think pretty slight team principles as well. We've picked pretty yeah. good team principles. We are also... Zach Brown is not a team principal. Whoever says Zach Brown is a team principal he's not so don't even no one was picking zach brown anyway but i'm I'm just saying zach brown is not a team principal he is a okay ceo anyways okay now this is the this is the make or break moment okay which engine are we choosing and there's literally one good reason there's one good engine there's one good engine and the rest (laughs) is just like the second best engine so i really hope i win heads or tails please be tails Oh my god, it's Tails. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm taking the Honda engine. Please and thank you. I will not be taken. No further questions asked. The Honda engine, ever reliable. I love that thing probably with all my life. The Red, the Red Bull had no... The Red Bull and the Alpha Tower really had no engine failures this year. As long as far as I can remember. I think it was just driver yeah. error that was mainly the problem. But yeah. there was nothing. So Katie, that's that's my reason for picking the Honda engine. Katie... <laughs> What's your um, I don't know. The, I was I literally only wrote down Honda. I was like, I'm winning this one, even though it's like fifty percent <laughs> chance. Um, do you know what I drive? I actually drive in a Honda powered car, so oh, I'm essentially Max cute. Verstappen. And whenever I try to tell people that I'm Max Verstappen because of that, they're like, Caitlin, you you, you drive a Honda Jet. <laughs> <laughs> you do not drive the RB19. <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm like, I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think I'm going to have to pick the Merc engine then. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just... Merc engine is quite reliable, to be fair. Like, Yeah, it's we not saw... bad, but it's no Honda. No, it's not. <laughs> it's like the Honda engine is here, and then everyone else is down here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, You have to be on a certain level for Honda, but I'm excited. So now this gives me a, a significant upper hand in... Yeah me winning this entire thing so i'm excited hyped the rest okay this is the round of team strategy which team strategy are you taking for this year heads or tails let's see heads katie which team strategy are you going to take from the 2023 season well i know that strategy is such a it's part of you know the little the recipe to make the best to get constructors and drivers you've got to have good strategy got to have good people behind their strategy um and there's one team that definitely had all the ingredients that year this year sorry last year and um that was red bull i'm putting my my money behind hannah um and yeah yeah that's actually amazing i love that okay that was my first pick as well so um i'm glad you chose red bull but my look it was very hard because every single team besides red bull had like some astronomical blunder last year so it's just like ah like i don't really know like the only thing i could think of was i'm not choosing ferrari so that just rule that one out like not knowing but strategy no they're not good strategy nevertheless they're not for their strategies which not, not the good ones. Yeah. But I had I think I had to go ultimately with McLaren purely because when they put it together, they put it together pretty well. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Like their strategy in like Qatar, their strategy in Japan, like 
like those are those are amazing strategies and they ultimately help them to c- come back astronomically from like 10th t- in the constructors to finish fourth fifth actually but like yeah that's so i'm taking mclaren strategy i will i am i'm hyped i i think that's a pretty close second to red bulls okay and now it's the last category before we run through our teams so then you can all think about which team is better katie's or mine so this is for this is for nothing this is just this is not going to make the car faster it's not going to make the car slower but it is going to please our aesthetics so heads or tails what is our main livery color going to be Ooh. oh katie okay you go what is your main color and we also can't choose the same color so yeah let let's let's talk talk me let's talk you through my head right now i obviously okay. want to pick like a really aesthetically pleasing color like i want to pick i, I want to pick pink right i'm like oh, i want i want my car to be pink like so blah 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 blah, blah. but i also kind of want to pick the same color as sm martin so british racing green because the no! are so beautiful but um i've just seen her reaction and i adore my best friend in the entire world i know that she wants to do british <laughs> racing green so i'm gonna pick we're talking like no 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 it's fine just pick british pink. racing green no, no 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 i actually do want muted like a muted pink like kind of like my mic everything in my room is like this kind of pink do you want to see my um, prediction do you want to see my my what my um what i wrote down for my color liveries yeah. i wrote british racing green and barbie pink <laughs> Yeah, just so, in case you thought you Katie and I weren't the same person. Person, yeah, <laughs> we literally are. Okay, so I'll I'll have a pink car. We're gonna have, like Barbie could sponsor my team. Exactly, Barbie Beta. Oh Holmes. my god, <laughs> <laughs> we're not going through this again. You're staying with Beta Beta Racing Beta. No, you're Beta Tower. Beta sorry. Towery. <laughs> <laughs> beta Tower. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't 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 attack me. But yeah. As you saw by my reaction, I literally made a TikTok about this. I love British Racing Green. If pink would, wasn't my favourite colour, British Racing Green... would be green British Racing Green. Would be up there. Would be I was telling one. my friend the other day, this. Uh, he was asking me, he's like, oh, what's your dream car? Which is such a... Anyway. Um, I was like, oh, like the Aston Martin safety car. And he was like, that's such a strange, random, like, s- strange um, pick, click, like, dream car. And I was, he was like, oh, what color? And I was like, are you kidding? Like, what, what color would I get my Aston Martin? And he was what like, color? oh, what do you mean? And I was like, British racing green. <laughs> like, it's like getting a McLaren and not getting it in orange. You know what I orange, mean? Like, yeah. Or getting a Ferrari and not getting it in red. Not like, you have red. to get it in the color. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Like, there are certain cars, or at least in my mind, like, obviously, the person yeah. who lives across the street from me has a black McLaren. But, like, I'm always, like... If Excuse I was to me. Get, this yeah. is news to me that she lives in the kind of neighborhood where people just have McLarens. Yeah. Well, I don't live in the kind of neighborhood that people just have McLarens. But yeah, you live in. <laughs> but yeah, no, I love British Racing Green, and I think genuinely, if I literally told my dad when I get my like car, I want to wrap my car British Racing Green because have you seen right. that color? Like, if you it's are beautiful. not a British Racing, this is this is becoming real personal. If you don't like British Racing Green, what are you doing in your life? Because British Racing Green is the best color ever i have ever witnessed it is quite cute and i love british racing green so i'm glad that katie has decided to give me the british racing green Mm -hmm. um i will love her forever for it and she gets barbie pink and everyone wins essentially so katie take us through your beta towery team as the ceo of beta towery racing i mean yeah so i'm here today to just really give you guys a little bit of a wrap up of, of my team. I really think that we're going to have an incredibly successful year. Um, we have set ourselves up nicely with our personnel, with our car in general. Um, the vibes of the team are incredibly high um, and we can't wait to have a very good year. So without further ado, let's introduce Beta Tauri. Okay, so at ba- down at Beta Tauri, we have an incredibly strong driver lineup. We are bringing back a pretty famous duo, a dynamic duo. We are bringing back Max Verstappen and Daniel Ricciardo. They're going to be my two main drivers for this year. Then we come down to the Beta Driver Academy. We are building up those betas and we're prepping those for our, um, our official team. Okay, so in, from our F2, we have Teo Porsche. Always got a smile on his face. He's going to be perfect. Then we have 
the Tauri TikToker, <laughs> um, Mr. Solov. Um, <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna be doing that for us. He's also gonna be driving for us as well. And then our very uh, he's a part time much... content creator, part time driver. <laughs> yeah, he just like films like brand deals in the in the <laughs> in the like in his driver room. Um, <laughs> sorry. And then our our superstar F one Academy driver is gonna be Hunter <laughs> Alcabasi. Um, what else did I? Oh, our team principal. We have James, um, James Vows amazingly loving to all of our drivers um super strong force really has um the beta mindset um uh, to, to just do as best as you can um, um we have our merc engine and um yeah our team strategy we have a, a, a red bull base strategy um yeah which means that we get our drivers tires on um we call them in at the right times we don't yeah do some really strange stuff um like they do down at the red garage because we are the muted pink garage and we're with the barbie pink garage um everything's pink so pink and then your drivers have team. to go hi barbie hi ken hi barbie like that's how you guys introduce yourself yeah nicola's all of take hey, notes hey, Daniel. take 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 notes for your tiktok <laughs> Yeah, no, he's he's probably already making it out there. Like, he can hear me talk. Proper English. Let's start again. Now it's time to, for me to introduce you my team. My team is called Tiana Racing, inspired by the amazing Jenna Racing that obviously had drivers such as Jamie Chadwick in the team. And if you are inspiring to be like J- Jamie Chadwick, you can only go to be amazing so we have a pretty strong driver lineup i'm like katie i'm not taking another team's just full driver lineup i'm taking the successful power of both valtteri Bottas and charlotte Leclerc. i genuinely think that is a very strong driver lineup especially in their quality pace and especially just in driving in general they are a pretty good team now moving on to the tiana junior team um we have in formula two we have the runners up for the title we have frederick vesti frederick vesti obviously amazing formula 2 campaign won a heap of races it was really unlucky to not win so he was absolutely amazing deserved that seat in my driver academy in formula 3 it was hard to go past the one the only the champion gabriel bortoletto once again won a heap of races was amazing behind the wheel absolute masterclass in formula 3 this year and an f1 academy once again hard to go past the winner of the inaugural season of F1 Academy, Marta Garcia. Once again, I think absolutely amazing driver. Stunning, love her. She's the icon and the moment. We, our team principal, is none other than Toto Wolf himself, the icon and the legend. Obviously, he. we do have a lot of headphones on standby just in case he decides to break some, but we have a lot. We are actually sponsored by Sony and Bose, and so we'll be fine. Right. We'll be fine. Yeah, we, we are sponsored by them. We are a Honda-powered team, meaning we have one of the best engines on the F1 grid, which is obviously amazing because you're only as good as your engine. So, yeah, and we have have the strategy of mclaren which means we get sub two second pit stops so frederick vesti doesn't need to worry about his rear tires not being on properly because they will be on and they will be on swiftly and but how is your liver- strategy the same as your pit crew you've just you've just your drafted- strategy but your strategy is the same as your pit crew it's the same 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 okay. we'll just we'll just we'll just leave okay. it there she's changing the rules i'm changing the rules so that mine sounds better than hers <laughs> yeah what I do 24 7 and courtesy of Katie the main livery color is British racing green so that's our that's our drafts like I genuinely think we have drafted two of the best teams that you could have drafted actually potentially I think it was a pretty good team I definitely think that the beta driver academy could have done better but I wanted to just have drivers that I liked so (laughs) you know that's fair enough like you had potential all time but, like, I feel like you did do good. I think the only driver that was just a miss was Nicola, but that was okay. He's, he never misses. But, Katie, now it's your time to shine. Or not, that you, not that you haven't been shining the entire episode. Um, it is your moment, the moment that everyone looks forward to in the podcast. It is time for the drive of your life. So take it away, Katie. Right, oh, it is now time for the drive of your life. Everybody's favourite part of the episode. 
I'm going to ask Tiana and I a question about a drive that they might take in their life and which F1 driver they would like to join them for it. Right, today's question is, Tiana, which driver, F1 driver, past or present, would you like to join you to just play on the sim for a few hours? Ooh. So you're, you're chatting while you're doing it, but you're also like racing each other. So you, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, that's that's difficult, man. That's really hard. Um, look, I'd have to go with Lando Norris, um, because I love Lando Norris, and I genuinely think he'd be a funny guy to just like do sim with. And I also genuinely don't think we would do much sim work. Um, okay. So what I think that would be good. What are you doing with him? No, like a, no, like just like talking. Like I don't. Oh, okay. What were you thinking of? Hey, hey, yo. You were just like. You just sound like you were just gonna go do something else, like play a game of golf together or something. Like oh, we could actually go play a game of golf, actually. Yeah. But like you know can what? Like I feel like golf? Lando. No, I can't play golf. I I tried to play Wii golf one time, like like on the Wii. Oh my god, my shoulders were in pain for the next two days. I thought I I think I pulled a muscle playing Wii golf. Do you know how boring? Do you know how, do you know how dumb that sounds? I wasn't even playing real golf. Anyways, but yeah, I don't even think like Lando Norris seems like the kind of guy who just like says that he does the sim work, but then just doesn't do it, doesn't do like it, fakes yeah. it. Like, anyways, Katie, I think I know who you're gonna pick, but who are you gonna pick? Okay, um, I was I was actually was gonna pick Lando because I feel like it'd be fun doing that with him. <laughs> um, so now I have to pick someone else. I mean, we basically the the roles are different in this game. You can't pick the same person, but mm-hmm. I guess I'll just have to pick the same person I pick for every single time of your life question. <laughs> Daniel I'm gonna Ricardo. have to pick Daniel Ricardo um, <laughs> because I feel like we'd have a good time. I will like down the hill that I think that Daniel Ricardo and I will get along. You know what? I genuinely think that you and Daniel Ricardo could get along as well. Like I ge- like I genuinely think that's a that's a, that's a possibility that could happen. Yeah. But anyways, now that we have come, unfortunately, to the time of the end of the episode, let us know in the comments whose team you think was better. Do you think that Katie's team of the beta, towery, racing, bulls, cash app, all of that. I should have um, called them the beta bu- bulls. It would have been really funny. Yeah, the beta oh, bulls would have been too late. better. BB. Barbie beta bulls. Triple B. BBB. Triple B. That would be amazing. That would be great. Um, If, if you think Katie's is better, take comment down her name and if you th- oh not her name like her team name and if you think that mine is better just my full it- name <laughs> <laughs> full name um, and if you think that. that my team is better comment down tiana racing because obviously we all know that my team is better no denying it do we <laughs> do we i don't know um but once again i would like to thank katie for joining me on this very very special episode of from the fields of the track because this was genuinely a fun time to film and i love this and i'm looking forward to now doing the annual um from the fields of the track draft at the start of each season because i think it'll be fun and i think it'll be a great way for us to reflect on the season that was before so katie do you have any words that you want to say before we wrap it up No, just that this was an absolutely fantastic idea. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe or um, depending on where you're watching, I guess, subscribe to our YouTube. Follow us both on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. Um, Yeah, and we can't wait. We've got so many exciting things planned for this year in the lead up to the F1 season, keeping you guys busy and keeping F1 on your radar before the uh, season starts. So as always, thank you to all of you, but a big thank you to Tiana who puts in all the hard work. I just show up. (laughs) <laughs> but yes thank you all for watching make sure you comment down below which team was better because obviously katie and i are very competitive within each other we need to know who won um and make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more things of from the field to the track but now it is time for us to say goodbye so thank you for watching lots of love we'll see you in the next one love you Bye.